Hello, Internet. She's Lovesy. My name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com. It is also New Year's, so first off, have fun, and second off, be safe. Whether you're drinking or not, the roads are going to be unsafe, because most places, it is icy, and you are not the only person driving on the road. And since we're talking about New Year's, we might as well talk about the first story of the day. I don't always agree with Answers in Genesis, but what they're doing is actually pretty cool. During the New York ball drop that happens every New Year's Eve, Answers in Genesis will have a video billboard put up. Thousands of people will just be there in general to see it, but it should also be right in view of the camera. If not, we'll probably have a new story about how New Year's Eve ball was censored, blah, 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 blah. But no, it's really cool. It's really simple. It's got a picture of a cross, and then underneath it says, thank God for freedom. And then it turns to brought to you by Answers in Genesis and the First Amendment. Just something small, simple, and kind of cool. And then moving from that, we have a couple Middle East news. One, the United States is actually asking for Saeed Abedini, which is news. We've been talking about him for years. He's been in prison since 2012 in Iran for allegedly helping with the underground church movement there. So the United States have been kind of quiet about this and people have been really trying to push the United States to do something and it seems like they actually are now, so that's cool. There were rumors that the United States wanted to do a prisoner swap. They are denying that, saying that is not the case. Meaning that we would get Abedini back, but they would give Iran somebody else. So hopefully that's not the case. They said that they're not. And I mean, the country never lies, right? I just hope that's not the case. That would be really sad. And then from that, we need to talk about ISIS briefly. It seems that they have recently killed over 116 of their own militants. This being because they were trying to get out. Now, this is obviously sad because 116 people are dead. But to know that people are on the inside looking around going, wow, this is insane, is a good thing. Though getting people to act on those thoughts is probably going to be near impossible. And from that, we go to the final story of the day, which is about Leela Alcorn. Formerly known as Joshua Alcorn, identified as a transgender, but committed suicide on Sunday, doing so by stepping in front of a tractor trailer on the highway. And on Tumblr, Alcorn had left the suicide letter. And in the suicide letter, she blamed her Christian parents and her Christian therapist for this happening. And I know there are a lot of Christians out there that read the article and that's what they want me to talk about is how the media is taking this and demonizing Christianity. And I know on the other side of things, people want me to probably talk about the transgender discussion. And so that being said, there are so many different things to be said here. And so I know whatever I say is probably not going to be correct in someone else's mind. But a couple things that I wanna bring out, and maybe this is a shallow thought on my end because I can't relate, but Christian or not, you do not need to define yourself by your gender or your sexual orientation. I've heard a lot of people who are transgender, including Elkhorn, who say, I want to be treated like a human being. And that sucks. I'm not going to get into it. I can't imagine what you're going through. But there is more to you than that that makes you human. And if you are gay or transgender and that makes you angry, I, I'm straight. I can't relate to you. I don't, like I said, I can't imagine what you're going through. I don't know your shoes. And secondly, on the whole thing of suicide, depression is a disease. That being said, it needs to be treated as one. You can't just go to a Christian therapist and be like, you just need Jesus. I, one of my friends brought this up in the Geeks and a Grace website. If you want to check out his article, link in the description below. Is you wouldn't take a cancer patient to someone and be like, you just need Jesus, buddy. You'll be fine. You Cancer, Jesus got this. No, you get it treated, but for some reason, people look at depression and they go, oh, they just need to cheer up. And I like what Filter Franco says. He says suicide is a permanent solution to a very temporary problem. You might think you're thinking with clarity, but depression clouds your mind. So if you have any suicidal thoughts or anything, I'm leaving a phone number down below. Seriously, get help. So that's what I have to say on that. I'm sure that's not what everyone wanted to hear, but you know. I can't think of a question of the day that would be appropriate. So if you want to talk about anything that I talked about today, please do that in the comment section below with whatever you want to say. Make sure you check out geeksandagrace.com. My name's Cody Armour, bringing Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate. Love the Christmas pray to everybody like subscribe. I will see you later and God bless.